Hi, this is Charlie from the Edison Public Library. And today for our craft, we're gonna be learning how to make a moss terrarium in a mason jar. So a terrarium is a self-contained garden that you make inside of a vessel. Um, this, in this case, we're gonna make it inside of a mason jar. Um, now the point of doing this is that you can bring a little bit of outside inside. So it's a nice craft to do um, with the winter coming. So um, this is the one that I made and you can see that it um, has moss inside of it. And I have a little gnome in there. He's gonna live in there with the moss. And you can see that there's some layers in here and I'll tell you why there's layers. But um, the main part of the terrarium is the moss. That's the plant that I planted in, in my terrarium. Okay, so what you're gonna need is, of course, a mason jar, all right? Now, this is a medium-sized mason jar. They have small ones too, so you can see different sizes. I planted the other one and a big one, so it's up to you how big you want it to be. Today we're gonna use the medium one. You're gonna need some pebbles, small little pebbles for the bottom. You're gonna need potting soil, okay? Now, you can use dirt from the, the outside, but um, you might get bugs. So if you use potting soil, you're not gonna have any insects living in your terrarium. If you like insects living in your house, then go right ahead. All right, you're also gonna need, of course, a plant. So this is moss that I scraped off of a, um, a brick that was in my backyard. Now moss likes to grow in shady areas, all right? So if you're looking for moss, look in shady spots around your house, like behind um, pieces of wood. They're usually growing on rocks. They like to grow on rocks or bricks or things like that. Um, so that's that. Uh, you can use other plants too, but um, for, for our case, we're just gonna use moss. It's a little bit low maintenance, all right? Um, and then you're gonna need decorations. So some larger rocks, or in my case, uh, a little plastic gnome. Um, you can do anything you like, all right? Okay, so remember I talked about layers. So when you're making a terrarium, you're uh, going to create a nice environment for the plant to grow on. So the pebbles go on the bottom, like so, and that creates drainage. So um, when the plant's roots go down, they're not gonna be sitting in water, they're gonna be sitting on these rocks. The water will settle below that, all right? Because plants don't like to just sit in water. Next, uh, you're gonna put in potting soil. Now, some, some instructions say to put activated charcoal uh, in here um, at, on the second layer before the soil, and that sort of absorbs extra moisture, but it, it's up to you. Um, I'm just gonna use pebbles and potting soil, okay? So then you put a little layer of soil. You don't need a ton, and you're not going all the way to the top of the mason jar because you need room for your um, plants and your decorations. I like to use a pencil to sort of manipulate things inside of it once they're there. So there you go, you got your, your pebbles and your soil. All right, next um, you can put in one of your decorations. So I'm gonna put in one of my rocks like so. And then I'm gonna put in my moss. So I'm going to take a little piece of the moss and I'm going to press it down in there. Okay. And if I had my gnome or another decoration, you could put those in there. But that's essentially it. So that's, that's the terrarium. Now, you want to put the lid on it, of course. So, how do you take care of your terrarium? Well, 
if you're going to use moss like I'm doing, well, actually any plant, never leave the terrarium in the direct sunlight because it gets really hot inside a closed container when it's in the sun. So it will kill the plants. So leave your terrarium in a sunny location, but not with direct sunlight. Okay, so a nice sunny room, but not right in front of the window where the sun's going to hit it. Okay, you do have to water your terrarium plant occasionally, not every day. Um, the moss um, is going to probably just need water once a week and not a lot of water because the whole point of a terrarium is it actually creates a little uh, microclimate inside the jar because it's closed water's not evaporating it's actually recycling so as the plant um, puts out oxygen it um, condenses moisture condenses on the inside of the terrarium and kind of keeps watering the plant but occasionally you're going to want to replenish the water um, just so that so it doesn't dry out all right so once a week spritz a little bit of um, water inside the, the jar and then put the lid back on. Okay. Um, if you use other plants, um, I would look up, I would, it would help to know what kind of plant it is so you know how to take care of it. Uh, eventually most plants will grow out of the terrarium so you'll have to either transplant it into a bigger mason jar or put it back outside um, and then you can start over. But that's um, that's the basics for building your own uh, mason jar terrarium. And so I hope you have good luck with it, and we will see you next time.